um, Francisco, so we're here, here in your home church in, uh, that you grew up. Did you grow up in this church? Well, no, you basically this has been uh, your church for how many years? Uh, 13 years. 13 years, 13 yeah. Years. A lot of your, ever since you've been married, probably. And uh, ever since. Uh, a little less. Okay, Because I've been married for 18 years yeah. now. Okay, and that's when the Zella whooped you to shape to become a good Christian. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, no. It's just funny, but, uh, but uh, it was something like that. Yeah. It was something like that. I remember that I was, I, I was, a, Christian, I was a Christian before, before knowing Zella, and I, went, I just ran away from the Lord. And when I met her, I was in the world, I was, I was forgetting about God. Yeah. And then God uh, just, just touched her, and then she became a Christian, and then we had a little bit of problems there. Between your relationship. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and this was like 19, 20 years ago then, right? Like when you were dating or when you were already married? Uh, we were dating okay. at that time. And then we, we got married and then she started going to the church. And uh, I wasn't, and it was a little bit of a, you know, yeah, yeah. But then uh, the Lord touched me again and he called me and I answered. Yeah. And then since then I... And then since then, is all a major... Yeah, sure. just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and I decided to follow the Lord no matter Yes, okay. Mm. Yeah. And then you, as you've uh, started coming to this church 13 years ago, you've started to do some teaching in it then, too, right? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. How long ago did you become a teacher in this church? Um, pretty much since uh, a year after we started coming okay. here. Because we used to go to a different church. And yeah. When I was going to a different church, I already, I already had, you know, teach before. Okay. So when I came here, it, of course, it takes a little bit. Get to know me, right? To people get to know me, see what yeah. kind of a Christian I was, hmm. and then they just uh, I start teaching. And now you uh, um, you've also started going out to other churches, like in Rosarito. You told yeah, me that I go to, yeah, I go to different churches from here. That I go to Rosarito to teach. I go to Altiplano. I go to Valle Verde sometimes, and um, that's what I do teach. And I teach here. Well, the people that I'm teaching here are people that are going. Uh, being prepared to be teachers, to be pastors, to you know, to go out right. and preach the, uh, the word of God. That's yeah, what, that's so what you're, doing you're just you're training up people. You're bringing yeah. people up. So. Yeah, actually, uh, I was telling you before that uh, we gonna we are we have plans to start a school right yeah. here um, in this January. Also, at the same time, we we'll be start working in right. the place in Terrazas. So uh, those are the plans. Yeah, yes. we're gonna go see check out that church thing too in just a little while. And see where you're starting there as well, and see what 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 the needs are for that community. Um, now, the, like the youth farm Bible camp is uh, what we do is, is disciple people. We see our staff being discipled, trained up, and uh, we see the same thing that's happening with what you're doing here in Mexico. Um, and we've come along to we want to be coming along and, and so sort of support you in a way. Uh, what does what does that sort of mean for you? Is that something that's uh, is that a, how can, is that a valuable way for us to to connect with you in Mexico? I think it is, and I, I see this as a, as a door that God has opened for us to you know, give us more time and give us more free time to, to center ourselves and doing what right. we're yeah, doing the work of God. So yeah. that's what we want to do. And then it's basically, it's uh, you can spend more time doing the work of God. Yeah, right. that's what yeah. I, yeah. And that's, and that's, what it, that's why I'm in the ministry I'm in, is so I can, I'm, uh, so I can basically uh, lift people up and grow people in Canada, and, and uh, we can see that uh, that you have already been doing that in Mexico. We want to we don't want to empower you, and we want to like help you out so that so that there's more people being touched um, here in this area. Yeah, and there, there's a you lot have a vision of, for it, right? Yeah, have a vision. We have a lot of people. Uh, we have a lot of Christians, and we have a lot of people that don't know God. So we yeah. want to get to the to both. We yeah. want to go to the people that doesn't that they don't know God. Evangelism. Yeah, and we want to get to the people. Yeah. But with the people that know that, uh, with the people that are already Christians, we want to... We wanna Light a fire underneath them. Yeah, but more than that, a little bit more than yeah. that, we want to teach them how to live yeah. the true Christian life. Yeah. Because uh, we have a lot of Christians all over the world, yeah. and they don't know how to live the Christian life. Yeah. You Christian want them to live abundantly. Yeah, and to, you know, to conquer. Yeah. To conquer what they're supposed to be conquering. Right. right and live a fulfilled life. Yes, yeah, that's Christ. what we need. That's what we need. Yeah. Not just not just the hope in heaven, but something down here. Yeah, right? not just that hope uh, to be one day in heaven or, or that uh, that uh, think that we are Christians and we already defeated the devil. 
Okay. But yeah. sometimes the, 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 the double or the situations have our, our food on, on our neck. Yeah. And we don't know how to take that away. So that's what we're going to teach yeah. them, the Christians. To yeah. take that away to be free, to be truly free. Yeah. To be truly free in this and world then, and be prepared for the next. Yeah. And then that's going to that's gonna enable a lot of people just to, to live freely and just to have power in God. That, and the movement of the Spirit comes Yeah, and, and that is going to... Gonna, Help a lot because these people are going to be fired up, as you said, yeah. and they're going to be, you know, becoming instruments, true instruments, and that's, in the hands of God. And that's your passion to see yeah. people to right? see people uh, become true instruments yeah. in the hands of God. Because yeah. there's a lot of ministries, there's a lot of people working for God. Yeah. But the question: Are they really good instruments in the hands yeah. of God? Yeah. So sometimes they build something, and because they don't know how to live the true uh, Christian life, yeah. Everything that they are building when uh, with the, their testimony, they just, just go down in a minute. Yeah. So we don't want that to happen. Yeah, you want to have a strong foundation. And have strong foundations to have solid buildings. Well, thank you very much, Francisco, and it's been a great, great partner with you. Blessings to you. All right, I'm with my friend here, Francisco, and they're just about to start a church January 1st on this location. And uh, that's uh, it's a great news, isn't it, Francisco? Yes, it is. You were just telling me a little bit about the area and how they're, they're, there's some, some issues for, for, for Christians that are living here. Do you want to explain a little bit about it? Well, um, before, uh, when this uh, area was starting, uh, there was a lot of ministers from the states that sent people to work here with the people to, to teach, to preach the Word of God. But what they did, they, they used to bring a lot of food, a lot of bread, a lot of things for the people. So right, right now in this area, we have, uh, I think the, the percentage of, uh, is high of the people that know the, that knows the Lord. But uh, the thing is, that when you go and invite them to the church, they ask you, what are you going to give in exchange? So, so it's almost like you have to pay them to come to church. It's almost like that. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be praying. We're going to be praying and we're going to try to, you know, take that up out of the minds of the people with the Word of God. We have only the Word and that's what we pray, the Word of God. So the power of God, the power of the Word, is what you want to see transform, transform people's lives. People's lives yes. Yeah, and make them true disciples of Jesus try Christ. Try to take that mentality, uh, that mentality of need. Yeah. The people, they think they need. Right. They, need, they have God. They have everything. Yeah. They don't. They don't have to be thinking that they only need uh, for someone else to kill them to kill them. Okay. They. They, yeah. they have to take that mentality off. They have to uh, put the word of God to have faith to believe in God and to to know that God has given given them power to become to be to to take to conquer. Mm. Well, blessings as you serve this yep. church here. And this this area here of uh, Tijuana, Mexico, uh, where Francisco is going to be building a church right here.